Hey guys, Orlando here from MassShape. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install Kong on Docker on a droplet in DigitalOcean. So here is uh, my Docker version, so you guys know what I'm running. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run and download Cassandra. So Cassandra is basically running on port 9042, so I'm going to expose that by doing this command over here. The first thing I want to do is name my Cassandra Docker uh, to basically Cassandra and pull it from the MassShape uh, repository. As you can see, this is just going to download a whole bunch of things and it's going to just, you know, do its magic. So just get a coffee or something while well, this happens. Luckily, on DigitalOcean, this happens really quickly, uh, so you don't really have to, you know, waste too much time. Uh, so here's just downloading all the necessary files and yeah right awesome that's done the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download uh, Kong itself and then I'm gonna run it so Kong runs with on two ports that's uh, 8000 and 8001 so 8000 is for the public APIs to connect to and 8001 is for administration, ad admin stuff. So I'm gonna name this container, uh, I'm gonna call it Kong and I'm gonna link my Cassandra container to my Kong container uh, using the Cassandra name and Cassandra alias uh, format and then I'm gonna tell it to download MassShape Kong. So Kong from the MassShape repository. Uh, and here we go, it's pretty fast. And once that's done, all I want to do is see whether Kong has finally started. Because of how Kong has been configured, when you do Docker run, it should automatically start Kong. So, okay, let's try and do like a curl request to HTTP 127.0.0.1 port 8001. So, yep, that's the admin responding. That means that Kong is now fully operational. Thank you.